Willst du Schokolade? Oder so eine? Ja, eine, eine Hälfte. Eine nix, Hälfte wieder. Nix, nix das will ich. Nix will ich, nix will ich. So, I missed all that. Could you repeat it, please? So, this is also talking. Ah. Oh. See, because I am, uh, I am not aware of all those things, and I don't know. You all the time uh, having this by air and uh, uh, blank, uh, and I don't realize that you are uh, doing all those things. Well, when uh, the President uh, Benesch came to visit Brno, so all the German people had to be locked in for the weekend and I stayed in the, at the school and next to us uh, a lady with her daughter were sleeping and we were, we didn't have nowhere to stay because uh, uh, we were bumped out so we were going from one relative or friend uh, to stay overnight and that lady with her daughter, whose name was Lydia, after the, her I, I called you. And uh, so she... So, now I've forgotten the... You were lying on the floor in the... Yes, and they had a big, a big uh, flat. And they had to take somebody in because uh, they were... Uh, she, the Mrs. Kretschmer, she was checked like my mother, but her husband was uh, uh, a, a German, but he, he died. She was widow of uh, a, a very big, uh, uh, they were very well to do and they had a big flat. So they uh, let us have a room and so we were staying there in, uh, in with them. And, uh, in the house that was first floor and the third floor was the director from uh, social service and I, we as German, we had to every day to register for going to work and so we, I, every day somewhere else so I went to the hospital, it was bumped out as well and so helping to t t clean up and uh, every day somewhere else. And uh, through that, uh, one time, uh, through that, uh, uh, what I said? The social service. Social service di director. So I met him and I was cleaning at their house, at their flat. And so he organized for me to do the, to do the, uh, to do the mothercraft nursing That's because I wanted to be during the war I was working as a kindergarten helper I wanted to be a kindergarten teacher but the Czech said I would influence the children with my Germanness so they wouldn't let me uh, study so that's what I was very glad that I and very uh, Yes, very glad that I did do the mothercraft nursing. I was for three years until I left for, for France. And when I came to Australia, so I did get pregnant, so I was very glad that I had the knowledge of looking after babies because no mother, no auntie, no, nobody uh, around here. Uh, it, I just had to look after uh, you as best as I could, best as I could. We had very good neighbors, the Renge and Mrs. Kiss, remember? Mrs. Kiss. And uh, so we had no, we had just a small bungalow and when uh, Ronald was born, so they came like three fairies when I came from the hospital. So they, each of them brought something uh, uh, for the baby and for me, some food, uh, Mrs. Kiss, I remember, a cake. And uh, so it was really very nice. That's what I find now sad, that uh, all the people who were, we were like family, more or less, 
they all died and so I'm the only one left and the new people they are mostly renting only and so they haven't got the connection with us. Each of them does their own thing and, uh, and uh, Yeah, that's like us in Austria. No, we're only renting. Yeah. So not much to do with the neighbours. And have you any neighbours? Yeah, actually the the farmer well there's a vineyard next door, so there's a farmer comes to make his wine. And wants to lift the Neustift. Yeah. And he's friendly, I mean he... Yeah, yeah. But you said f he's from South Australia. He's Behind, the other... Um, beside us is the one vineyard. We've got three owners of vineyards. The one beside us, mm -hmm. and then there was one in between. And the one behind us is the, he's actually Austrian, but he's got vineyards in South Australia as well. How did he come to? I never really talked to him, I don't know. I mean, the, the so first time, it, yeah, the first time the priest oh, yeah. told us about him when we first moved to Kirchberg, then the priest told me that there was a, an Australian mm -hmm. in the, mm -hmm. in the mansion on the hill, and, um, I never actually. Then once, uh, one of the Salomon girls gave me a ride. I think when the car broke down, she picked me up, and she, but she was working somewhere else. But she was from Salomon. No yeah. oh, idea. Oh, and I had. I don't think you know that. Uh, you know Mrs. Osichka died. Yeah, I think you told me. Yeah, because of yeah, because of Paul and Radushka fighting over the ah, yes, the vineyard. Yes, yes, yes. And what about the the vineyards in she had vineyards in Czechoslovakia as well? Yes, yes. But I think uh, the Czech because her husband he left illegally. And uh, so the vineyard has, has been taken over by some other relative and the, some community thing. So I, I really don't know exactly what has happened there. We were there, they were very friendly to us when we were there with that. Because her brother was here and we went then. then Dad and I, we went to visit. You were before mentioning Boji in Brno. I don't know what's happened to her. I tried to ring three times and the telephone is not available. And she sent me a Christmas card, just Boja and nothing else. Totally fine with kids. <laughs> it's no one. Don't bother. But it sounds very loud, doesn't it? No, that's fine. Mm -hmm. It's totally normal. You are almost deaf, and you think that's loud? Mm -hmm. No, that's really? totally fine. Mm -hmm. That's 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 no sharing. That's normal. Mm -hmm. I won't worry about that. No, but I am getting cold. Okay, let's go inside. Hmm? Mm. Let's go inside. Yes. Mm. You, especially when you're talking between yourselves and I can't hear it or hear something completely different. So this is just, you have to... Uh, to uh, what is it? Uh, Understand. Yes, understand that uh, well. I am an old woman, and I have, you know, you you are now twenty, and I am four times older. So how many experience, life experiences I have? Forty times more. Mm. Yes, yes, mm. And, and it is. I I I show you the. You know the prayer, what I have, the big prayer. 
You see, uh, dear God, give me. I, you have to read it to, to to see this. That for every opi every subject, I find something I know. I have this experience. Not that I am a show, but I just live that long, and I have always some. When you tell me about uh, whatever, so oh yes, I remember this happened to me one time. See, in those 40, 60 years more that I live, so in those 60 years so many things happened, didn't it? Like you have certainly more with, uh, with the, of the boys' experiences with people and things you have been trapped. Well, the bo two boys might be, um, they have been traveling through the Vienna choir. Uh, They've forgotten it all. Mm. They've forgotten it all. That's why they've got a totally different consciousness now. Same like when Simon came. Simon, when Gary and Caroline came with Simon and Benjamin, and they went and looked at all the castles and in England. Then they came to Austria, and we went to to Grafen Grafenegg to a castle close to us. And then the boys said something like, "Oh, not another castle." They had been to Edinburgh Castle and to, I don't know. They went to Buckingham Palace yes. and mm. all of these castles yes, all over the, England. That's what we and they call said, oh, another B and B yeah, B and and the black B and W. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. And yes. so they were, and then mm. when Simon came to visit us five years afterwards, he was fascinated by the countryside. Mm. And I said, "Yeah, but you you were saying how boring it was five years ago." He said, "We were too young." Mm. We were too young. So, oh, even then, you know, when they came, they were 16 and they were, they were too young. And then when he was 19, he was old enough. See, like George and Eric, they were 8 and 10 when they were in Europe. And George doesn't know anything. Yeah, yeah, that's and, ha and Eric hardly. And this is what makes me so sad that Eric, especially, he is very conscientious. And he did see seven, three months in Munich to school while I was in hospital uh, after the accident. So, and they had their cousins similar ages, Gerhard and uh, Tommy. So they were with my mother speaking Czech with her uh, at school. And apparently Eric was especially very good that his teacher invited him Speaking German. Whenever he come uh, to Germany, he is welcome at her place. He was very, very conscientious and he could speak. I remember when we arrived at the airport, so he, he was speaking in German, mentioning things. And now he doesn't. He doesn't. But he I can understand. He understands. I can, I can understand why, because when he went to Rome f to study and he has no knowledge of Italian at all and he was studying for priesthood and he was there six, seven years. And uh, then, w see, even when he came back here to Australia, the seminarians are mostly Italian, Spanish, and so he using the language still and no Czech or German, and it makes me sad because the German community and the Czech community, we have no priest, and he would be so needed here, even when he comes now and then. And when he came to Christmas time to St. Albans, so an Australian father, um, father O'Brien, who is teaching, was teaching J uh, Cynthia, uh, so he speaks perfect German. He was studying in Germany. Many priests were studying in in uh, Germany. But they must have all come to Australia because in Austria we've got all Polish priests. People come from Poland to mm -hmm. Austria and Germany. No, but uh, studying uh, the uh, Catholicism or the, the the Bible, the Lutheran, mm -hmm. you know, so this is the reason that they, it comes from Luther there. And so they're studying and, I, and Eric there was standing there and, uh, uh, and the priest really... And another priest was last year, he too, he had... But he was from German, he said he had an auntie 
who was uh, propagating and so he was speaking uh, good German too and I said to him I am jealous <laughs> that he, and but although as I say I can understand it Eric but it makes me sad that see the the Polish uh, uh, Pope he could speak so many languages but we are all different mm. Do you want to go inside? With yes, box? yes. I am cold. Mm. What is this here? Uh, battery. battery for a camera. Mm. Christoph, mm. battery for Christoph's camera. Mm. Mm. Er hat da hier so verschiedene Kontraktion gemacht, ja. die ich jetzt aber nicht mehr brauche. Also, das ist eigentlich so schwer. Und ich Für was hat er das gemacht? Da verschiedene Bücher oder was. Ah, ja. Ja. Einzelne, wo da gerade hineingepasst haben. Ja, da, da habe ich, da sind Sachen, die ich, das ist noch Jacke von, von George, das ist Wolljacke. Und da hier sind Sachen, das sind für die, für die also zum Einpacken für die Hochzeit oder für den Geburtstag oder so. Ja. So, wenn du das hier... Wenn du was zum Aufhängen hast, ja. so. da finde ich das hier woanders hin. Willst du nicht ein Sängen Schweinchen? Nein, nein. nein. Willst du nicht gerne eine, eine Büchse haben? Nein. Auch nicht. So. Das haben wir im Club gemacht. Okay. Wenn ich hier wohnen würde, dann eventuell, aber <lacht> nicht ich weiß, ich weiß, Aber warte, wir könnten das, damit ich dir das frei mache. Ich habe eh schon genug Platz, war, wie das passt schon. Nein, nein, hier ist frei. Okay. So kann ich das alles. Ja, du kannst es dann lassen zum Aufhängen. Das kann ich das jetzt machen? Und dass du dann, dass du dann hier das alles fast schon Das ist eh schon genug Platz, fast schon. Das reicht schon, das ist dann eh genug Platz. Du, da ist eine, eine neue Mütze, die ich gekauft habe. Du brauchst das nicht? Ja, nein. Ja? Ja, sicher. Gut, ich bin froh, dass ich das lasse.